created a, a class, I had a few people asking about how they could uh, create images that they could, you know, zoom and, and pan around. So I just created a quick little class uh, that you can just uh, chuck in and use uh, in your projects. Um, so just jumping quickly, uh, this is a uh, DAP exported code, um, just something really quick that I created in DAP. Um, I've exported across and have uh, brought over all the code files. Now, uh, what we want to be changing is, uh, in this view, we've uh, loaded a standard image. Um, here's the code for it for right here. Uh, what we want to do is we want to replace that with uh, our new class. So I'm just going to write the code to uh, bring it over. And we'll just grab it. So here we go. All right, here's the class. Just drag it over. Um, yes, I want to copy you, I think. Okay, that's good. All right, so there's our image zoom view class. Uh, I'll take you through that afterwards because I want to show you how it's done. It's really quite easy, but uh, we'll come back to that. So to use it in your project, uh, we're just going to import it. Okay, if image view zoom view dot h. Sweet. All right. Now, here's the cool bit. Uh, what we can do is going to come down here to our image, and we are totally going to replace it. All right. So we're going to go okay for image in view. Uh, it's just say image. Why not? Uh, equals okay for image in view. All right. We get in it, uh, and now we can just put in the name of our image. Um, Usually you'll just uh, grab your old image name and you'll just chuck it in there. Uh, but for the purposes of this test, I'll put a test image in here. Let's chuck that in. Awesome. All right. Uh, so we've created it. Next step is we need to add it to our view. So myself add sub view image. Sweet. And then we want to release it. Cool. All right, let's test this out. Actually, there we go, that's better. All right, cool image. All right, so we're gonna grab it. It's our finger pinch zoom. And we're gonna zoom it in. I'll oh, check that out. Nice, and we can zoom it out. Cool. Yeah, put my hair a chest. Anyway. Um, Gorgeous little baby. Uh, I'm just gonna close that. Uh, it's done. All right. So um, really basic. Uh, I'll show you how it's done. Uh, now I know there's uh, been quite a few people asking for this, so hopefully uh, you can use this in your code. Now how it's done. Um, take you through it. That's it. You're looking at it. Um, Basically what I did was I uh, subclassed the UI scroll view, I hope that's the right word, and uh, then I added a scroll view delegate. Um, in, inside there I just created my image view there uh, and created a property, uh, property so we can reference it uh, from outside this class. So we'll just jump on over uh, to our class file. All right, uh, so I created uh, this bit here uh, where we, all we needed to do was pass in the name of the image. Um, this stuff's pretty boring. Um, sign the delegate, you can read up on that elsewhere. Uh, here I added the uh, image we passed in and created the image view. Um, then I updated the frame of this class here uh, to be the same as the image that was passed in. Just makes it a bit easier. Probably update my code. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to update this code. I want it to be a bit better. So I'm going to say at location, just so people can at least position their image. Um, so we want it to be a CG point K and it's location. I'll just call it location actually. Nice. All right. So now, instead of setting the frame to equal that, this is I hate it. This always takes a while to wrap. We have to create our new rectangle. 
Uh, we want it to be a location for x, location for y. We want our width to match the uh, image that was passed in, or same with that image anyway. Uh, frame dot size dot width. Whew. Did I do that right? So it's dot image view dot what am I missing? That's right. Dummy. All right. And the second part. Height. Sweet. All right. That looks good. All right. So now what we want to do is we need to copy this because we need to update our header so that other classes, or our view in this case, knows uh, what methods it can call. So we'll just go back to our page view and we need to update this now at location cg point make and we'll keep it zero and we're just going to drop it uh, 80 pixels. Cool. Now let's run this sucker. Yes, top image so that do not show this message again. Anyway, all right, loading up. Da -da, there you go, it's in the center now. So now we can grab it and zoom in, zoom out. Cool, easy enough. All right, let's close that. Hmm. Well, it seems to jump here as well, ever since that was fun. All right, so we are gonna, I'm gonna go back here, grab our files, and we're just gonna go here. Now, uh, for this class, I set a uh, default minimum and maximum zoom scale. Right, what that is, is uh, how far, well, obviously it's how far they can zoom out and how far they can zoom in. So uh, feel free to play with that. But uh, something you should know as well, is if we go back here, um, we can also update that from outside here. So I can go image dot minimum zoom scale, there we go. And we can change it to whatever we want. Zero point, let's make this really small. Let's have some fun, okay. And I go image dot maximum zoom scale equals 10. All right. Let's do this again. Whoops, did something wrong. Dot F. All right, let's go back. Cool. All right, what can we do now? We grab it and we zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Sweet. And now we should be able to zoom in out in where we want here. And we, whoops. Oh, there we go. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Awesome. All right. Basic enough. Okay. So I'll just close that. Um, what else? Um, that's it. Pretty basic. Um, I should be adding this uh, into future versions of DAP. Just so what that means is... Um, I shall be adding a whole ton of custom objects. This will be the first one. Uh, what that means is you'll be able to grab this uh, object, dump it into DAP, hook up the image, and not have to do any of this coding stuff. Anyway, uh, thanks, guys. See you later.